So let's take a look at the Milo M.2 dual bay enclosure. Here we can see the enclosure. We have nice heat fins going all the way around it on the top as well as some on the bottom. This one does have a cloning function. So if we want to copy one M.2 exactly to another M.2, this enclosure can do that. We've got a port for DC power. we got a Type-C to the computer. We have our power button. We have our indicators here on the top. So this will tell us the progress of the clone and whether it is reading from SSD one or two. On the other side, we got a button. We can see that it's labeled. So we just press that down and push it out. And that reveals the heart of the machine. So it comes with a couple of these push buttons. And we can also see that we have a couple of different sizes available. I'm going to use a size 22 and we can see that the source is on the left and the target is on the right. So if we're going to use the clone, we want to make sure we're cloning from here to there. I'm just going to slide that onto my M.2. And it is important to note that this is NVM Express. So you want to use this only with NVMe hard drives. And it comes with a power supply with a USB-C port in the back. This is 100 to 240 volts, so that's going to be good for international or domestic. And it outputs 3 amps at 5 volts. It comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable and a USB-C to USB-A cable. It comes with two thermal pads, two shim plates if we need them, and two extra buttons if we need those. Now this one's going to be a little odd because the thermal pads need to make contact, but they're also kind of sticky. So if we slide this on and it makes contact, it could roll these things up. So I'm just going to use these shim plates as a way of creating a smoother surface. So for the offline clone, I'm going to plug in DC power. I'm going to press power on the top. And we got both our drives. Now if I want to do the clone, I'm just going to press and hold clone for five seconds. And press it again. Okay, so we have got a clone. I'm going to shut that off, and I'm going to plug in the USB-C to the USB-C port in my laptop. Okay, pick that up right away, and it is reading those files. So if I go to this PC, all right, so it is currently reading only one hard drive. That's important because these are cloned, which means they read exactly as the same thing on the computer. So if I right click, go to disk management, I got one of them online, one of them offline. What I have to do is I have to disconnect the current running drive and then plug the offline drive in. Or we can right click here, go online. And now we can read both drives. But that is going to read it as a completely different drive with a different drive letter. But we can see we've got all the same files and they are playing. So let's run a speed test. Okay, so we are looking at about 5 gigabit per second. So for sequential one byte, a process one thread, best case scenario, we're looking at about 460 on the read and 466 on the write. So this is about what I would expect out of a SATA solid state drive. So if you're looking for an option where you can put two M.2 drives into an enclosure, read them both at the same time, as well as having the capacity for an offline clone, this is going to be the enclosure for that. That is awesome.